quick video to show how to connect to the uh, MLG Pros um, over Ethernet. Um, I'm powering right now with a uh, SI Link box. Um, for this, you will have to have the USB plugged into your computer and we'll also need the 110 volt adapter um, plugged in as well because we'll need more power than just our regular um, IO Link sensors, say a, a Power Prox or DT35. So the M12 cable will go to the T and then we'll connect the 8 pin from the receiver and to the T and the 5 pin from the sender as well to power it. Um, I've also got on the receiver, I've got an Ethernet cable so I can connect over Ethernet. And I'll show you the purpose of why you would rather connect over Ethernet than IO link. So then I'll just open up SOPUS engineering tool. And once SOPUS opens up, then it'll reach out and start looking for the devices. It'll look over Ethernet and over IO link. So once it connects, I should have two different connections to the MLG2. Um, one of them will be COM8, which is over IO link, and the other one will be over Ethernet. So I want to go with the Ethernet version because I get more functions and features with it. So I'll just drag that over, and it'll connect to the MLGs. And once it connects, then I'll just read parameters. Now that I've got that open, I don't need a password. I can just double click on it. And it'll open up the connection point of the MLGs. So that's how you connect over um, Ethernet to a set of MLGs probes. Um, now, if I had a the different, I was on a different subnet, the IP address was different. Um, say I was on 192.168.1.50 on my computer and the web checkers are on 192.168.200.50, then I wouldn't be able to talk. Um, but what SOPUS does is it'll tell you that you can edit the IP address um, and you can just click on that, do a, a auto um, update and it'll change the IP address for you and connect. Let me know if that helps and if you have any questions.